Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Simply Tish. I hope everyone's having a wonderful day. It's sunny over here. It's definitely cold, but that's okay as long as it's sunny. Right guys? You know what I'm saying. Anyways, today I am cooking garlic, garlic, <laughs> garlic butter steak and lemon green bean steak skillets. I'm going to make rice with it on the side, but the main course, the main dish is going to be this. And I'm going to tell you what we need really quick before I get started. Um, I have about a pound and a half of flanked steak and I cut it against the grain. I have about 24 ounces of stringless green beans. I'm using organic. I have about four and a half tablespoons of butter I'm going to use, six garlic garlic cloves. I'm going to use about one and a half teaspoons of Italian seasoning. I'm going to juice one lemon and I'm just going to slice a, a few slices of lemon. That's just for the end for the garnish. We're going to need salt and pepper, cracked pepper if you have it, half a cup of low sodium uh, beef stock, but I'm just going to go ahead and use the regular kinds. Uh, crushed chili red pepper flakes, that's totally optional. Uh, we're also going to be using about three four cups of chopped parsley and one and a half tablespoons of fresh thyme. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to marinate the meat first. So right here, I just have an empty bowl and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add the soy sauce. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take olive oil and I'm going to do one and a half tablespoons of the olive oil. And then I'm going to take my sriracha, which again, remember you could do any kind of um, hot sauce you want. And I'm gonna do the same thing, about a tablespoon and a half. After I do that, as we can see right here, I am going to take the black pepper and I'm just going to have it, I'm gonna put it a little smaller and i'm just gonna go ahead i'm not really measuring it how much black pepper do you like you know that's how i i see it so i just go ahead and i'm just going to go and do that until i get the amount i want i probably will add some after i add the meat so i'm gonna this is the meat you can get it with less fat um, more fat this is just what we had right now and I'm gonna go ahead and add that into the mixture. And we're gonna go ahead and give it a good stir. While the meat is marinating, I'm gonna prepare the little things like the lemon juice and the um, garlic. The garlic, I forgot to tell you, we're gonna mince it. So basically I throw it into my pilong, which is a uh, masher thingy, majiggy. <laughs> And I'm gonna add a little bit of salt. I do this, I don't know, I guess I, in, the, in the Hispanic world, we just it's easier to like ding, 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 ding. And basically I'm just gonna mash it. This feels good. I just wanna show my niece. Hi, hello. <laughs> she is going, she's um, juicing the lemon for me. She's so adorable. And our little dog, Luna. Say hi, Luna. Hi, 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 hi. Okay. <laughs> Right here, I have a pot boiling with water. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my green beans here and I'm going to safely put them in here. Okay guys, so after three minutes, I'm gonna take the green beans. Oh snap. And we're going to do that. Right away, right, right away, we want to stop the cooking process. So I'm just taking cold water and I am stopping the cooking. Now 
I have a skillet on the stove or a saucepan, a frying pan. I'm just using one of these right now. It's really, really hot. I have it on medium high heat. I have my meat here that's been marinating. It looks so good. We're gonna go ahead and add the butter. For right now, I'm adding two and a half tablespoons of the four and a half tablespoons. I'm going to take the meat like this and we're going to we're not going to pour the whole thing the juice of whatever uh of the marinade we're just going to let it sit there till later on and as we do this i'm going to go ahead and put it in here now you can go ahead and layer it you know meat pieces you know piece by piece oh, let me start that again <laughs> you could layer it like you know put one piece of beef at a time uh, unfortunately, I don't have that kind of time, so I'm just going to go ahead and do this, and I'm going to cook this for about two to three minutes. Okay, so the steak has been cooking for about three and a half minutes. Right now, to the steak, I'm going to add half of the garlic I minced, and I'm going to take the red pepper flakes, and I'm really not measuring it out. Honestly, I'm just going to sprinkle until I feel like it's enough. We want it a little spicy, but nothing too spicy. So we're going to go ahead and I'm going to turn this all together. Okay guys, so I took out the meat. It's right here waiting. And I put the remaining sauce from in there just to the side. Don't throw it away. So in here, we're going to go ahead and add the rest of the butter, which this is literally only half a tablespoon, honestly. I don't feel like I needed all that. Um, all that butter and into there I'm gonna add the rest of my garlic I'm going to add the chopped parsley the it's hot what is this uh, thyme <laughs> in here I'm also gonna add one tablespoon of Italian seasoning, a dash of the chili flakes, and the green beans that were sitting on the side. So we're just going to give us a mix. And I feel like it's a little dry, but I really don't want to add any more butter. So I'm going to add a drizzle of olive oil. Oh, I missed that word. Drizzle, drizzle, drizzle. And now we're going to go ahead and add the green beans. The green beans have been cooking now with the garlic and the thyme and the parsley and all that good stuff for about four minutes. I'm going to go now and just take the lemon juice and deglaze the bottom. Not too much. So about a tablespoon. Then I'm going to take the beef stock and put about half a cup and add the rest of the marinade that I took out from the meat. And I'm going to let this cook for a few more minutes so that it can thicken up a little bit. Hey guys, so here is the final product. <laughs> and our dish. My version of the garlic lemon steak with green beans. And honestly, guys, I was going to move it into another another dish, but look how beautiful. Look at that sauce. It's just so pretty in, in the pan. It was it, it's it's so easy to make, guys. And it's de freaking delicious. This is it. It looks amazing. I'm very, very proud of it. I just want to th say thank you to everyone who watched this video, liked it, or commented, shared it, uh, tried the dish. Thank you guys so very much. May you guys continue to like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on that notification bell. It truly does help me. 
and I just want to say I hope you guys try this and if you do let me know in the comments like how did it go how did it taste and if you need any help on the measurements or ingredients just go ahead and send me a comment I hope everyone has a wonderful evening and my family will definitely um, enjoy this meal everyone have a wonderful evening